Thank you everyone very much for, uh, for coming and uh, the Sea Alaska Plaza uh, is always available for tours. Um, it's one of the main uh, uh, projects, uh, pieces of the puzzle that, uh, that I have to do. Um, and we're very, very proud of this uh, project and the uh, technology behind it. Um, what makes our, our, uh, our grant a little, a little unique to the EGG program is that uh, wood pellet boiler technology has already existed in Europe. Uh, it's been deployed successfully for uh, 30, 30 years already. Um, what we did is we had to bring the entire industry to Alaska, and that meant bringing an infrastructure that could support the, uh, the boiler technology. And uh, as soon as we announced that uh, that we we got a grant and that we were converting our building, we had four other people, four other entities, uh, jump in right behind us and say, "Okay." Since wood pellets are going to be available, then we'd like to convert our buildings too. And that's uh, the Coast Guard in Sitka, the Coast Guard in Ketchikan, the federal uh, government, the, the GSA in Ketchikan, and also the Congress Discovery Board Center. Um, so you know, because of the technology was already proven, it just hadn't showed up in Alaska. So uh, we think that this project is uh, successful before we even uh, commenced uh, being, doing groundwork on our own project. So we're very happy. Um, so I'm Nathan Sobleff with the uh, Sea Alaska Corporation now, actually Haani subsidiary, a, uh, one of the subsidiaries of Sea Alaska. And this was the uh, project rendering that we had. Um, I, I, I don't think we had this available at the time when we did the uh, proposal to uh, the Denali Commission, but it was soon, soon thereafter. Um, once we got the award, we had to go and convince our board of directors that uh, this is how it's going to look. And image is uh, very important to uh, the corporation and, uh, and our board of directors and our shareholders. So this project is actually a very high-level signature marquee project with high visibility. Um, so we were really interested in making sure that it had a good look that fit with the building. Um, it didn't have any uh, bizarre aesthetics to it. And uh, that it was done right properly the first time. And uh, you know, to that end, the, the project has just been really wonderful for us. Um, so the, the players that we had involved was, at the time, um, Sea Alaska Corporation. We had another uh, sub subsidiary company called Synergy Systems Inc. do the actual uh, uh, general um, management of the construction of an actual project. Um, and then Ventec Energy Systems Inc. of Canada is the equipment provider and engineering outfit who owns the rights to the Beesman uh, brand boiler system. Um, and we installed a Beesman Pyrot model wood pellet boiler. There's over 15,000 of these units in operation worldwide. Um, and the project goals was meant to eliminate our use of 35,000 gallons of heating oil annually, which is uh, an average of uh, seven years' worth of data that we have on the building. Um, and to prove that the technology is uh, acceptable and ready to roll out into the, the state of Alaska. And, ultimately to grow the industry within Southeast Alaska such that we could support a um, wood pellet mill within the Southeast region by creating the, uh, the consumption demands. Not that um, Sea Alaska is per se interested in owning a mill, that, that might be the case, but the core of Sea Alaska has always been uh, land management and timber operations. Um, so this is what our, our wood pellet boiler looks like. Um, these systems are already deployed throughout um, the world. They, they, you know, a lot of people are surprised to hear that these things are in place in hospitals and schools, um, universities and government. And these are uh, industrial-sized boilers. Um, they're, uh, uh, they're very large, they have an appropriate price tag, but they're competitive with oil fire boilers. And there are wood pellet uh, boiler technology that's applicable for homes, smaller businesses, um, and it's just really rolled out throughout the rest of the world in, in, in their applications. Um, and, but part of that is uh, why we haven't seen in, in Alaska is that the delivery of bulk wood pellets just was not available. Um, so we, we brought that to town and we were making that available throughout all of Southeast Alaska. Um, this is just a, a little technical diagram of how the system operates. Um, the main part that uh, is really interesting is the rotary combustion blower, which produces a, a cyclonic action, so you get really full combustion of the, of the boiler uh, to, to turn all the heat that those pellets produce into, a, into a, a hot water. And uh, these right here are the, uh, um, the hot water boiler tubes. So 
the system produces hot water, which is then fed throughout the rest of the building. Um, and the system is, uh, has a published efficiency rating of 85%, which is just on par with other high efficiency uh, oil and, and gas uh, boilers. And interestingly, it's, it's really important to note that this technology does not uh, compete with the, the small guys that are um, boiler installers and, and, and maintenance outfits or or the delivery of bulk wood, wood pellets in throughout the rest of the world. Those companies that currently offer um, boilers and uh, uh, home home heating oil sales have actually taken up these products and um, offered it as just another piece of the business that they do because everything is very similar. So it's it's, it's not any new technology. It's it's, it's nothing out there. It's just it's just a different way of, of, of producing this of doing business. Um, so again, we were meant to grow the, um, the demand for these systems, and we found that the, uh, the, the boiler system here in Juno, we had a, a savings of 20% of over heating, heating with oil, and Juno, for a lot of you guys who don't know, has some of the cheapest price of energy within the state of Alaska. You know, at times it may not seem that way, but um, when you levelize the different types of energy out there um, on a PTU basis, uh, the wood pellets in Juno have a 20% savings. Um, the timeline of this project started out originally before the EETG um, grant was available. Um, I was working in the Natural Resources Department in Sea Alaska and we were having discussions with Viking Lumber, a major sawmill within the region. And we were saying, well, you know, are we able to get a pellet mill in here to add some more jobs and to create a, a local product for, for, for heating of our, uh, our region's region buildings? And it was determined that there just wasn't the demand that could support a mill, and that they couldn't bring the mill into southeast Alaska without there being the demand of pellets to consume them, because the pellets wouldn't be economically be able to be produced economically such that the mill owner could export those pellets the way they could, they would have to be consumed within the region. So afterwards, I, I told our uh, executive vice president Rick, Rick Harris that you know if we're going to do this. Maybe we ought to stick our necks out of there and uh, be the be the first people we should convert our building. And he said, "Oh, you're crazy. Come back to me later when you have some money." And um, you know, just joking, it was only just a couple months later that we, we discovered the ETG grant, and uh, lo and behold, we went and got one. Um, and we had we were one of the projects that was asked to reduce our funding, and uh, we were it wasn't a problem. You know, we'll definitely take five hundred ten thousand dollars over nothing. So it was the alternative, and that actually funded our boiler equipment and the engineering for the boiler. Um, then we had the uh, the news release, and afterwards it was announced that some of these other inst institutions were looking at pellets once they realized that Sea Alaska was um, seriously considering, or not say at this point, was going to be going with uh, wood pellet heating for our system. And then in May, we brought our uh, purchase of the bulk delivery truck, and uh, then you can see the uh, October 8th, we, we uh, set the boiler in place, and we've been up and running since November 19th. This is what the Sea Alaska Plaza looked like before. We had the uh, system installed. You could see the uh, two Well McLean boiler systems there. Um, they actually had a, I think it was four times the installed heating capacity than what the uh, architects and engineers had originally spec'd out for the uh, plaza. So we had to make a pretty good um, calculation as to what is the appropriate sized uh, uh, boiler. And then you can see the pictures from uh, where our uh, wood pellet silo current here is on it, so how did that change the look of the sea last composite? It, it works pretty well, but we're still looking at um, using that silo as a, a, some kind of a billboard for, for messaging or, or branding. Um, and then this is what the uh, system looks like. It's installed, you know, it's, it's kind of from about the same, the same angles as the pictures of the boiler. And what you see on the left is a, a, a blue gas filtration device, which uh, eliminates any particulates from escaping the system and the, uh, the boiler in, in installation. Um, and so this is the Beastman Pirate model wood pellet boiler. Um, it's projected to consume 280 tons of pellets um, annually. Um, we're actually finding that they're burning just a little bit less. And when we did this project, we also upgraded a number of the systems, the buildings, uh, heating systems um, that were, were outdated. And the building, when I calculated the the amount of pellets that we have consumed um, since time that uh, um, and the, the heating oil that we would have normally consumed would actually reduce our BTU usage um, 
by the equivalent of, uh, I think it was like 3,000 gallons for the heating oil. Um, so for those of you who weren't on our tour this morning, um, I'm available anytime um, to give a tour, but this is just a picture of what the boiler looks like. Wood pellets come in uh, from the right from an auger. They're burned in the firebox, which is this little thing down here in the bottom. And then they're automatically metered out through another auger once they're spent as ash into that ash can. And uh, we've only we've run 72 tons worth of pellets through the system, um, and we've only got half, half an ash can worth of stuff. This is what the uh, chimney, not smokestack, looks like as the uh, boiler system is operating. Um, you know, no, no visible emissions. Uh, to date, uh, this is just a summary page of how much money we've saved, how much heating oil we would have used. Um, the total hours of a successful operation. So uh, we've got positive savings. The system will, is, is projected to, to pay itself off. Uh, at the time, we were figuring on 250 a gallon heating oil. Um, now it's up to 342 a gallon for heating oil. We were expecting like a, a 12 year payoff. Now that's uh, been reduced. And this is the difference between heating with pellets and heating with oil. Those are based on a delivered price. Um, we won't save that amount of money since um, November 19th. Um, so how do the wood, wood pellets arrive? Um, they come up in super sacks in shipping containers. They're barged up. Right now we're purchasing them from Washington. Someday we hope to be able to buy them from uh, someone locally within the Southeast Alaska region. Then they're transloaded into our bulk wood pellet delivery truck. Um, and in the future, we hope, on, hope to be eliminating this process by having a, a, a storage silo system in place so you don't have to use the forklift to load the pellets into the barge. And then the truck comes and makes a delivery to the Sea Alaska Plaza. That it has a, a boom on it with a large screw auger inside of it, and it just meters pellets up, up into, into our storage silo. And that's the way that uh, wood pellets are delivered throughout the rest of the world, either in this system or a, a pneumatic system. But it's, well, everything for the end user is supposed to be just like getting an oil delivery. Um, so this, this is the future we you know, hope to eliminate having to transload the pellets and uh, um, create some greater uh, scales of efficiency for, for deliveries and reduce the price of feeding oil. So in, in, in C Alaska, Southeast Alaska, the price of feeding oil is currently uh, 342 a gallon. Um, in other communities, it's uh, 450 a gallon. That's an over 40% savings in energy. Um, so, if you're wondering if pellets can work for your community, you need to say, want to ask, you know, how much are you currently paying for for your energy? What form it is in? What is locally available to you? Um, and how much do you burn? Um, and uh, you know, wood pellets, you know, they, they can work. It pencils out very well here, and it could pencil out somewhere else, but. You, if you're on the Yukon and you have to barge in or fly in your fuel, um, you might have a, a better resource available to you. Um, really, the wood pellets are used for space heating. Um, you know, that's a perfect use for, for uh, biomass in general, for heating rather than uh, uh, turn it into a gasifier or, or other things. And, you know, our, fo our fossil fuel should be used for industry and transportation, for heating our, uh, heating our buildings. You know, wood pellets is a good thing. And this is a picture of the, uh, the firebox. Um, so, contact any questions, and um, again, let me let me uh, reiterate the fact that if you want to see this boiler, just give me a call. If you